Just try to relax, okay? Let's take some deep breaths. Take it in. Blow it out. One more time. There you go. I know this is hard, but everything's gonna be fine. I know it is. Jake's is gonna comb through the medical records. We're gonna find something that's gonna help us. We're gonna find this guy. Look, Ellie, the guy is crazy. My mother could be dead. Don't, don't even think like that. She's gonna be fine, and so are you. I just can't believe this is happening. I don't even want to accept it. What are you, what are you doing here? Why are, why are you at the cabin with Lee Hawkins? Hawkins didn't show up. He called. He has Haley, too. Haley? And Adam Jr.? Yes. What about my mother? Nothing. I'm sorry. I have to go back in the air. I'll set it up. You didn't tell her? No, of course not. We just talked about the Hawkins mess. Yeah, but keep it that way if you know what's good for you. Don't threaten me, Adam. You don't want threats. You keep your mouth shut. The only reason I'm not going to tell her now is because she's got enough to handle, but she needs to know who fathered her baby. You're self-destructive, you know that? Why? Huh? Because I won't keep your dirty little secret? Uh, our dirty little secret. Don't you even think about crossing me, Ellie. Liza will find out when I want her to find out. Adam, it's all set up. What are you going to say? I'm going to tell him his little game is over. That if he doesn't release Marion and my children, then I'm going to make him sorry he was ever born. How can he be sorry? Because I'm going to put a price on his head so big It'll bring out every snitch, every sadistic bounty hunter, every leg breaker in the business. Do you, do you think that'll work? It's the only language he knows. He won't have anywhere to hide. And I'm telling you, if he hurts either of them, any of them, I'm going to see that he dies very slowly and with a maximum of pain. It's too late. He's already there. What are you talking about? The man has my Lee family. Hawkins is already dying. Ryan? How long was it between the time that Hawkins was spotted on the property to the time you noticed Haley was missing? Hour, maybe. Well, he, uh, he placed that call to Adam pretty quickly. He couldn't have gone far in that time. Top speed, maybe two hours away from Pine Valley Tops. I've made cash money on it. And speaking of which, Lee Hawkins isn't exactly a high roller, so wherever he's hiding out has got to be strictly low rent. Rent? A guy like that's more likely to crawl into a hole. No, no, no. He, he's more likely to, to, to blend into some group, some place he won't be noticed. Yeah, like the Carney, but that was a washout. Isn't there some place else in town like that, like a circus or an air show? No, or... I'm afraid not. <sighs> We're missing something. Okay, he's a rustabout, right? He, he worked outside on carnival games. Yeah, yeah, put up tents the whole bit. Wait a minute. What about a, um, what about a theatrical supply uh, uh, storage area or like a, a warehouse? Yeah, someplace where they store uh, carnival stuff. Exactly. Why would you look there? Because of this. Take a look. Those are carnival attractions. Strongman game. Yeah, and this was blown up from the photo that Hawkins sent Adam. I gotta see more. Oh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What are you sorry about? 
I had no idea that a Hawkins could get into this house. I never meant Haley any harm. What does that have to do with you? I was the one who spotted Hawkins on the grounds. You saw him? Yeah, and I tried to tell everybody, but I guess I just wouldn't listen, and I, just, I waited. You... You waited? You waited? Stop, 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 you know what? Stop, 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 All right, here it goes. I want you to listen to me. I'm gonna see if I can fool Hawkins, okay? I need you to watch me very carefully. And when I say run, I want you to beat it out of here like you're in the Olympics, you understand me? But what about you? Don't worry about me, I've got a pocket knife, okay? I'm gonna surprise him with it when he doesn't expect it, all right? Watch me. Hey, Lee. There's something in here I think you should see. I'm busy. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. It's one of those strongman games, you know, like in the carnival. I used to get the highest marks on these things. The highest, huh? And what am I supposed to do, take your word for it? Well, you think whatever you want. I used to knock that weight off the marker every single time. Yeah, but you couldn't do that now. It's been years. Oh, yeah? It's like riding a bike. Where's that mallet? It's in here. Really? What you got? Step right up, ladies and gents. We've got a real Iron Man here. Muscles made of steel. Why? Ah! You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're never going in there again. Marion, it's me. I'm Stuart. And I'm here. I didn't. I'm gonna blame you for being asleep. After what you've been through, but you, it's time to wake up now. Mary, please, please, please wake up. There has to be a pause in this. You've got to be alive. You've got to be. No. Mary, Mary, you've got to be alive. Marion! Marion! <laughs> You've got to be alive! <laughs> children. Only subhumans try to kill their wives. Adam Chandler killed my joy. Oh, is that what you tell yourself? Yeah. I suppose you tell yourself that she killed your daughter, too, right? He, no. He the only thing my, my father daughter. ever did was try to protect Joy from you. Shut up. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You think you're going to get away with this? You'll never get away with this. Stop it. Shut up, Joy. 
You're never going back to Adam Chandler. Never. I'm a joy. You cretin. I'm Haley. Do you hear me? I am Haley Chandler Santos. <laughs> You're John Hawkins. And don't make me beat it into you. Lee Hawkins is as good as dead already. What are you talking about? He's well enough to torture my entire family. It's in his medical records. Check it out. Dr. Martin, mm -hmm. uh, there's a phone call for you guys because it's urgent. Okay, thank uh, Can I take it over here? Yes, sir. Hello? Jake, good. Yeah, listen, the hospital operator routed me to WRCW. Mateo, hey, man, how you holding up? I heard about Haley. Yeah, um, listen, I have an idea, but I need your help. Yeah, sure, whatever. What can I do? Meet me at the hospital ASAP. Mateo, hello? Is he all right? I don't, I'm not sure. He said to meet him at the hospital right now. All right, I'm going to leave with you. Okay. Listen, we'll be right back. Yeah. Okay? Hang in there. Yeah. Okay. Lee Hawkins has an inoperable brain tumor. Does he know? Yes, he does know. How long does he have? He could drop dead in, in a moment, or he could stay alive long enough to kill Junior and Haley. And my mother. And your mother. There's no point in going on television now. Why not? I mean, you could still appeal to him, right? Using what is leverage? How can I negotiate if there's, if there's nothing at stake here? But Adam, it's it's not a business deal. Well, it's, it's the same. The principles are the same. He has nothing to gain. He has nothing to lose. He has no incentive to show mercy. Well, then, then make up an incentive. How can I make up? The man is dying, Eliza. I have to find my mother. And you need to rescue your children. There has to be something that he wants. He has what he wants. He has my children. He has vengeance, and he has retribution. Wait. Wait, there is something. There is something that we all want. What? Life. Offer him life. Well, help! Somebody, we're here in the mausoleum! And we're not ghosts! Help us! Oh, dear God, dear God, please send us somebody. Oh, Stuart, is that you? Yes! Yes, we're here. Here, I, I just found her. She was in the crypt. But I didn't think she was breathing at first, but, but I think she is. She, she, she is, isn't she? Just barely. Here, you go. Can you help her? Is she going to be all right? I hope so. She's got to be all right. You've got to help her. Okay. Her pulse is thready. She's severely dehydrated, and she's in shock. Please, please. Okay, please, Stuart, please. listen to me, okay? I'm going to stay here with Marion. I need you to go to my car. It's in the front. Get my medical bag and a beach towel that's in the back seat. Bring them, okay? Hurry, go, go, hurry. Go, go. Come on, Marion. You're going to make it. I'm going to make you make it. You hear me? You stay with me. I'm going to bring you back. Okay, they're covered. Anything else? Okay, listen. There's a cell phone in my bag right over here. Call 911. Hello, this is an emergency. There's a lady here. She's real cold and she's not breathing very well. And well, we need to send an ambulance right away. Yeah, we're at Wild Wind. It's, a, it's that big gray house on, on Glenview. It's, it looks like a castle. Yeah, we're in the mausoleum where they bury people. Crips, Crips. Cri crips. Right. That's where the Crips are. Yeah. No, no, that's, that's, that's not sooner. You've got to send it right away. This, this lady could die. Give me the phone. Hello, this is Dr. David Hayward. The, the patient is an extremist. We need an ambulance immediately. This is a matter of life and death. Well, if it's not an A-level emergency, reroute the ambulance right now. Send it here. We're losing her, damn it. Thank you. Stuart, call Liza at the studio. Send her over here. Get her over here. Call Liza to, to, to come here? That's right. You, to see Mary and to say goodbye? Stuart, just call her. Okay, call her. You're a low-down, 
excuse for a wife, Joy Hawkins. <laughs> Taken up with Adam Chandler. I'm your husband. I'm your man. <laughs> You stay that away from me. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, where is it? On your shoulder. The tattoo. The rose. I never had a tattoo on my shoulder. Oh, no, you're a liar. I'm telling you, I put it there myself. Oh, my God, you had it removed, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, I'm going to find something around here to put it right back on. man's got something else to say? I pray that you're hearing this, Lee Hawkins. I've just learned Hello? about your medical condition. Stuart. And it must be terrible. It's a terrible thing to learn that you have a brain tumor. It must be terrifying to you. Look at this guy talking to me like we're friends. Now, maybe doctors have told you that the tumor is inoperable, that it's incurable. But there is a treatment. It's a treatment so new that it's not even in the American medical journals yet. I just got off the phone with the head of the Neurology Institute in London. Swedish doctors have come up with a drug that will shrink the tumor, that it will make it disappear. You can survive this, Lee. You can live a long life. I will pay all of your expenses. Transportation, the hospital, the doctors, drugs, all of it. And once you're cured, I will see to it that you have safe passage to anywhere in the world you want to go. To be it Bali or, or Botswana, wherever. All I ask is that you release my children. Your life, Lee, for my children. What do you say? I can supply proof. And I, I need to talk to Hawkins. No, that we're in no, the middle of something No, I'm not leaving until here. I say what I have to say. This is not a no, good time to... Shut up. Mr. Hawkins. My name is Dixie Cooney. I'm Adam Jr.'s mother. Now, I know that you must be in terrible pain right now. I can't imagine what it's like... Mr. Hawkins. ...to lose a child. Uh, that's respectful. To lose your heart. I mean, that's what a, a child is, isn't it? Your heart, your soul, your one reason for doing good in this world. We're very much alike in that, Mr. Hawkins. We both love our children desperately. That's why I'm asking you to please rethink this vendetta against Adam. I know that he has done terrible things. I know how cruel he can be, but the children, they shouldn't pay for what he's done. Please let my boy go. I love him more than anything in the world. He is such a good boy. He's a sweet boy, and he would never, never hurt you. He, he never would. Please don't hurt him. And, and don't hurt Haley. Haley and Junior, they didn't choose their parents. None of us did. The children shouldn't pay for the things that Adam's done, for his mistakes. I understand that your daughter, Camille, was a lovely person, a good, sweet person. Now, any man who can bring a woman like that into this world must have it in him to know what it's like to take care of other children. I am sure that deep down that you are a good man and a loving man. I'm so I'm sure that you can find it in yourself to understand that you must let these children go. Thank you very much for listening to me. Let the children go.
Matt. Hey, Jake. Hey, thanks hey, for coming, no man. No problem. What do you need me to do? Listen, whatever happened to me when I was in a coma, it let me see the future. All right? Which in turn helped me save Haley from the danger I saw coming her way. Yeah, I, you were able to change the outcome. It's happening again. What I saw is happening, and I gotta stop it. What did you see? I saw Haley standing next to a carnival game and getting killed there. Now, I, Tad enlarges the photo that Lee Hawkins sent of Junior. The same game I saw is in the background. Which means wherever that game is, is where Haley is. Now, I can't figure that out. I, I must have missed some detail when I was in the future before. I need to see those details again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but, Matt, you've lost me. I, I, I don't know. How can I help you see those details? I need you to put me back into a coma. So, what'd you think? Ooh, I still have the touch.